seven and one Kansas Jayhawks to take on your seventeen and two seven and one Oklahoma State University Cowboys. Let's meet tonight's starting lineups. First for the visitors at forward. A six-time junior from Oklahoma for Kansas, number 23, Wayne City. At the center position, a 6 11 freshman from Reno, Nevada, number 44, Stephen Padgett. At the center position, a senior from Fort Worth, Texas, Nevada, Keith Lightford. At the center position, a senior from Fort Worth, Oregon, number 11, Jared Lyle. And at the center position, a freshman from Oklahoma City, number 15, Jay Arnett.
half threes made per game. And we just said they've already made three out of four here tonight. We've not even played five minutes. Well, the Cowboys have been a nice offensive mold, to say the least. They're in a great groove. They're down where the ball goes. They're in a high scoring area. They got to keep scoring though against Kansas because Kansas will control you when they have the basketball. And that's a loop. It's right now. Three point basket. Thank you. 
noticed that and tried to trap. Well, I think they're going to try to do a lot more things out of the box right now, so to speak, to speed up the tempo of this game and get some cheap points. Janata Weatherspoon in at guard along with Cobbett. Antonio Cobbett left corner to Weatherspoon, eight to shoot to McFarland between the two circles. Right to Antonio Allen, five to shoot. Allen gets a screen, goes up to the foul line left, fall away 18 footer is a block. Spoon shoots the first of two. Bad news for Kansas. Lankford picks up the second for the Kansas over. Leading scorer of 16 points per game. And he fell out on Saturday against Texas Tech. 15 John Lucas returning for the first eight and a half minutes of the game. He's 0 for 3. 27 to 9, Oklahoma State. Keep in mind that Kansas opponents coming in have been shooting just 37 percent from the field, and the Cowboys at 67 percent so far. Second free throw by Spoon, missed strong, and Simeon rebounds for Kansas. Miss 
strong. Rebound Gillies. Follow from 10. Young back.
Simeon, Graves. Hawkins for Kansas. Allen catches the inbound left baseline, dribbles into the paint, leans in. Count it! And the foul! like they did it in Chicago, partner. Shoots a free throw, but misses it, and Kansas rebounds. It's 32 to 14, Oklahoma State. Kansas has it raised. Back to a pass to Langford. Gets away. It's knocked out of bounds for the Cowboys. Kansas will have it. There's a pressure release. Phil Self getting his players all the way up. Basically in a, in a one ball full set. Try to back for you and defeat some of the pressure that they've been getting here. Langford, top of the key, has two fouls. Beats Allen on the drive. Bounce pass underneath the Grays. Put it over. Langford took it all over the Grays. Mark it to go. Found Grays right over. 32-16, Oklahoma State. 7-15 left in the half. Tony Allen, right wing. Foul on John Lucas. Guarded by Hawkins, who's playing now in place of Miles. Lucas, top of the key to McFarland. Right wing, Tony Allen. Allen takes Giddens on the drive. Right baseline. Foul on right, Jason Miller. Pass into the paint. Kicked by Simeon. They reset the shot clock and the Cowboys are out. Even though they're on defense, you can remember about Jeff Hawkins. Again, the backup point guard. 45, hit 59 shots. All right, three points. Oh, That's all right. But he, I, I, I promise you he'll be back. Oh, I was just going to say, we'll file that away for later. Inbound to Lucas, right baseline. Back hooked away by Myers. Myers tried to save it. And did he get a timeout before he lost it? And apparently he slammed it up Lucas out of bounds. So that's a turnover again. We hate to see that happen deep in the Kansas end. Now the Cowboy defense will be asked to play defense in this half here where they have been. 53 yards so far. Miles walks it out into the front court. Back door pass to Lincoln. Drives inside, hands it in the Ivan McFarland credits 
Cody Graham each have two fouls. Here's that three-quarter court pressure. Weatherspoon into the front court to Terrence Walker, right sideline. Skip pass goes over Lucas's head out of bounds. It'll be Kansas ball. He really didn't have to throw it over there. He had it. Weatherspoon right off to the side of it. You want to keep it in the hands. Now, that was just a little too much mustard. That's a good turnover. And the Cowboys are back on defense. Myers gets a screen. Dibbles to the right wing. Pass pass to Nash. Top of the key. Left corner case. Guarded by Weatherspoon. Inside to Simeon. Fouled by Jason Miller. Came down number six. And you can see the half court. Oh, the Cowboys are that was a good set. Team they Cowboys were six. And waited for Simeon to establish the position. Tony Allen will return. Tony Allen will check in for the Cowboys. Janaba Weatherspoon goes to the bench. Cowboys need a stop. Yeah, they do. 6'9, 255. Simeon, he's a load. They like to score right off the inbounds play of the game. They've done so once already with a dunk and a quick inbounds to Nash underneath. Lay up. Missed it. the three, crosses over, tries the left side, throws it to Bobbeck and the Cowboys will get into their half court set with 20 to shoot. to kick it back out there with a play. Now Bobbeck, top of the key, has it, 14 to shoot, guarded by Case, on the left wing to John Lucas with 11 to shoot. He's guarded by Miles, top of the key to Bobbeck, 8 to shoot. Bobbeck takes it down the left side, pulls away, 18 foot left side, miss, rebound, Case goes up, lay it out.
40 to 23, Oklahoma State. But a minute 48 left in the half. Kansas just winning the free throw line four times, and that's also been a plus tonight. Myers shoots another. Missed it. Rebound tapped around and grabbed by Joey Graham with a minute 45 left. Lucas will bring the ball into the front court with a minute 40 left, and the Cowboys up by 17. Here's a back court pass to Graham and Joey.
Cowboys on offense. Daniel Buffett. Cowboys going right to left. The Tony Allen. That goal post Joey Grant. He's double teamed. Now faces the basket against Simeon. Goodles into the paint. Jump up from five. Now.
Now Tony Allen, left wing, 15 to shoot, gets a screen from Joey Graham, pulls up, foul line jumper, around the rim, no, and Padgett rebounds for Kansas. Jayhawks counterattack, Kyle speeds in the front court on the dribble, left wing, picked up by Lucas, skip pass, right wing to Gibbons, started by Allen, right low post Simeon, they double him, pass across the lane to Padgett, layup good, foul call, got the basket for David Padgett. Got the basket for Simeon, knowing that if two guys came over, he'd he go ahead and see him here. But somebody had to be open. He looked over his left shoulder. Padgett was open coming the left or right. And he gave him a pretty good pass. And for Padgett, who hadn't had much success offensively tonight, he is now 2 of 4. He's made nine straight free throws since coming back from his injury. Missed two games with a foot injury, and that snaps the streak. Always works. He misses a free throw on the Cowboys rebound. That's 49 to 28. Another disciplined possession right here. Allen lob underneath to Joey Graham by the whistle and an illegal screen against Oklahoma State. So Daniel Bobbitt trying to set that back screen. It is, and that's Bobbitt's first foul. Oh, it's foul number two on the Cowboys. I don't really know what the call is going on. He's trying to get that, uh, that hand up around the uh, the feet of the line. Langford on the left wing. He's had a quiet night. He has only three points. Ball high over the head. The left hand goes to the left.
game would be in the bank by now. Cowboys inbound, going right to left. Lucas near midcourt. Top of the key to Bobbitt, guarded by Langford. Bobbitt with one dribble, bounce pass left wing Lucas. Lucas guarded by Hawkins now. The reserve point guard as Miles is going to the bench. Shot clock down to 20. Jason Miller has it by poked away. Loose ball in midcourt, recovered by Miller. Miller throws it left wing Lucas. Just 
Myers will bring it into the front court. That's a serious left square action. Feels like he's got that energy left. Padgett spins into the paint, skip past left wing. Giddens wide open three. Good. 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 Two of five. That's not a way to come back from that. 
23 point deficit either. So Cowboys getting a little help from there as well. Cowboys on offense. Shinobi with a spoon between the two circles. What do we got here? We got a box of one, it looks like. The box on the left side and the chaser on the right. Spoon, foul line right, Joey Graham. Dribbles between defenders, leaning five footer. No. Rebound taken by Joey. And he's stripped of the ball by Miles. Miles leads it great the other way. Stop left side. Spins. Turns away on the jumper. Left corner Gins for three. It's four.
64-43, Simeon at the line trying to convert the old-fashioned three-point play. 64-43, Cowboy as he shoots the free throw and makes it. That brings us to an official timeout. 1.42 left to play. Oklahoma State leads Kansas. Cowboy fans, your OSU spirit Six forty. 
37 Cowboys, just over seven minutes left. Lucas into the front court to Jason Miller. Left wing Daniel Bobbitt. 6.58 to play. Cowboys up by 19. Now Tony Allen has it between the two circles. Throws it to John Lucas. 20 to shoot. Lucas, right wing pass deflected high in the air by Kansas. Goes out of bounds. Miles got a hand on it. The Cowboys will throw it in with 18 to shoot. Much too much time to be thinking about salt in this game away. Not that the Cowboy coaching staff trying to do it. The Cowboys need to continue to attack the rim and score. And Austin Lucas, right wing Bobbitt. Guarded by Hawkins. Top of the key, Joey Graham. Simeon guards him. 10 to shoot. Joey to John Lucas, 8 to shoot. Lucas gets a screen from Graham. Graham rolls. Now John penetrates, leaning 10 footer. <laughs> Right baseline, Tony Allen, leading five, pulling, left, pass, a contact, pull, whistle. Allen gets the 
gets a rebound. Oh, And he shoots the first line drive, and it crosses. So Allen has made, to my count, four straight free throws. He's now four of seven at the line. The Cowboy lead. 73-55. Timely free throws. Trying to hold them at arm's length. And he makes the second.
John Lucas tapped on the wing, falls down with it, and he's called for traveling. He slipped and fell. And John really dribbled into the jaws of that trap. Coming across the sideline, somebody has to come back and help him keep the ball in the middle of the floor. Once John got on the sideline, he was descended upon by three Kansas Jayhawks. You know, we were talking about the rebounds. The Cowboys had just 18 offensive rebounds over the last three games coming into this one. They had eight at halftime tonight. They must be pushing 14 or 15 for the evening as McFarland gets his field on the other end. That's a big, big step there right there by Evan. The 18th turnover for Kansas. They kind of shut down the turnover machine in the second half. They had 12 in the first half, and many in the opening minutes as Bobbitt was fouled at the top of the key. Two free throws. That's a big pickoff by Ivan. Uh, these are the things Kansas has not been able to sustain. Really. That's a credit to and the Cowboy defense. They haven't really been able to sustain three, four, or five real solid possessions. They've had a couple, but they haven't been able to string a lot together. Five minutes left in the first half. Kansas shooting two. 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 Daniels made three straight free throws. He made both of his foul shots up at Iowa State. So he's at right at 65% for the year now. Shoots another. And makes it. Continuing to hit the free throws. Extend the lead. Five Cowboys and double figures. It's 76-55 Oklahoma State. Case, who's just checked in. Top of the key to Langford. Langford inside to Simeon. Turn around from five. Good. That's something they were not able to do in the first half throughout much of the first half because the Cowboys didn't let that pass fake be made. 76-57 Oklahoma State. Simeon with 25 points. Just three shy of a career high. The problem is only Giddens has reached double figures outside of Simeon's production. Langford, their leading scorer, coming in with just seven points on two of nine shooting. And Miles, the point guard, who doesn't score a ton but averages ten per game, has scored only three on one of seven shooting. Kansas trying all kinds of traps to get the ball away. Lucas, right in front of us. Now they try to trap him on the wing. He tries to get away from pressure. Puts it to Bobby left side and he it. into the front court, backs away, now he's Hawkins trying to foul, couldn't foul, and now Lucas spinning all over the place, loses it, and Case comes up with it for Kansas, two on two, Case foul line left, jumper missed, rebound Langford, take the way to the line, and that's what he added, now he's going to the game, as good as John is, and as good as he has been, John had to be out there, he had a little floor right down the floor, didn't do it any time, and gave up uh, the turnover, the Cowboys 20th,
least for them, a nice and winning baseball games. But, you know, they probably have been a lot more competitive than some have thought. Baylor will stay. That's correct. Baylor will have Texas at home tomorrow evening. And they will take a 2-6 and six record into that game. We can do the Cowboys and everybody else a big favor if they were to pull off a dark angel and upset tomorrow night. Well, that'd be nice combined with this win here. Bobbitt funneling the ball near midfield. May have walked, but got away with it. Throws it to Weatherspoon right wing, and he has the ball poked away out of bounds. And he's trying to look at the end of the game. What was the DC parents' problem? Cowboys jumped out to a 28 to 9 lead and they hardly let up and sustained a couple of runs, or rather withstood a couple of runs. Lucas dribbles across the floor, right side, backs away, shoots for three, air ball, rebound tied up between Tony Allen and Christian Moody. Possession error will favor Kansas with a minute 17 left. Well, he is kind of human. That's one of the few clock shots that he had beaten. He's up in the three point rate. Kansas into the front court, Hawkins. Wing case, three point jumper, missed strong, rebound, tipped around, and grabbed by David Collins, a cowboy freshman. It's pulled away by Case, drives to the goal, remaining five foot in the middle, and lost rebounds again. One minute to play, and one minute to play. With 57 seconds left, and the cowboy is winning by 20. just dribbling it, Case Brooks on the drive, goes to the goal, and the ball poked away out of bounds with 47 seconds left. Cowboys on the bell, right baseline underneath. In case you're wondering, Kansas' lowest output of the year in conference was 61 points in the loss at Iowa State. And their lowest of the year was 58 against Stanford, one of their losses. And they are at 58 as we speak. I now Stevie's ran for three right wing. He's just checked in. He missed it. Rebound Daniel Bobbitt and the Cowboys with 38 seconds left and just a five-second difference between the game clock and shot clock to basically spread the floor and let this thing run out. David Mons right left wrist. Kansas quickly on the other end and laying for pace. It's 80 to 60. Inbounds to midfield to Terrence Crawford. Shot clock is off. Cowboys can run it out. And they'll win this thing by 20 points. It appears. Again, that's just the sixth fast break point for Kansas tonight. One of the lowest points I'm sure they have in What a great performance. Four shots, three seconds, two seconds, one second. 